just go a hair this way. There you go. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, let's talk about this whole thing. It, it's kind of been a talk around the water cooler. Why, why did this guy bring a gun to a, a healthcare rally? What, what were your thoughts when you saw that? Well, my thoughts are the guy had some had some serious guts in his to be able to do something like that. I think most people would be afraid to be able to intimidate the man because that's basically. I think I look at it as a little bit of a slight intimidation, but the. What we have is a situation in this country where the government is not afraid of its people. And when you have a government that's not afraid of its people, you have tyranny. And when you have, uh, wait, let me back up. When you have a government that is not afraid of its people, then you have tyranny. When you have a government that is afraid of its pe people, then you have freedom. And that is what is our country was founded under, is the basis of freedom. The Second Amendment basically says that you're, everyone has the right to uh, carry a firearm, and that's not for sporting purposes. That is to protect yourself against the, 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 the government, which is the primary cause of most of the problems in, in our world. This organization, the, the We the People organization, what exactly is that? Is that some of the people, because when you see a guy with a gun, he's holding a sign that says, uh, you know, the Tree of Liberty should be watered, which is a reference to Thomas Jefferson, right. a lot of tyrants. Right, and, and patriots. People, and patriots. Is that something that people should be worried about? Is that, or what's the deal? I believe the guy is a, is a peaceful person, and as, you, as it was stated, it was a peaceful protest. I feel personally a lot safer around people that have guns than, than when I'm not around people that have guns, because I know that a person, when I am around people that have guns, I know there's gonna be a peaceful exchange. Everyone is, is equal on that playing field. Hmm. Oh, and what about we the people? What is that, what is that organization? What do you guys well, believe in? What's your thoughts? Well, We the People, it was started by a gentleman named Bob Schultz, and Bob Schultz has a lot of experience uh, in encountering or fronting government in court. He has made several uh, large wins. In fact, uh, he actually we, he has actually had a he has well, had a petition yeah. in front of we we actually petitioned uh, all all the members of Congress, 535 members of Congress, all on the same day it was last year around August, uh, showing that uh, with a list of uh, of derelictions to their oath of office. And there were only a handful of responses. And this, it basically, Bob Schultz is using the same paradigm that the Founding Fathers did, which is to have a history of uses and usurpations to the, the people having the, their freedom. Those people at the time of the founding of, of our country were English subjects, and yet they were not, they were being dealt as second class citizens. And in this country right now, we have a clear standing where you have two classes of citizens. People who work for the government and those who do not. So your guys' organization's goal is to is to document a to document the list of uh, the document the list of violations to their oath of office. They are required to follow the oath of office and uphold the constitution. And these members of Congress are doing everything in their power to prevent upholding the constitution and not there. Okay, so they're, 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 you guys are upset with the government because you don't feel they're upholding the, their end of the Constitution? Yes, they are not upholding the Constitution. There's a, a 538, I believe, questions on the We the People, Give Me Liberty.org website that outlines a list of questions that no, no one is, to my knowledge, in Congress, no congressman has actually answered. Uh, the last 10 words of the First Amendments, and I have to paraphrase, but they are, uh, we have a right to petition our government. This is the only part of the, of the Constitution that was, went through every uh, revision and was never removed or edited. They, we have the right to petition our government. And basically the government has said, you have the right petition, we don't, have, we, don't, we don't have to answer you. So if you have a question about something and you send that to the government, they don't have to answer you. So you guys are just, you just think that they're breaking the Constitution, you just don't like it? Well, I don't just, they are. There is no question that they are putting it there. There's 18 things that the, that the federal government is allowed to do under the Constitution, and they regular, regularly do many more things than what they are allowed to do. For example, the school, school program. The federal government is not authorized to have anything to do with the school program. The federal government, have you read the Constitution? Have you read anything where the federal government is allowed to be involved in health care? Uh, and this list goes on and on and on. So basically what you have is the government is overstepping their boundaries and we need to, as an individual, I do what I can to alert people that what is going on in their country because there is no counterforce to our monolithic 
uh, uh, government that's a monopoly. And, and overall, uh, you guys are a peaceful organization, I'm guessing. When you see a guy with a gun, he's got, he's got a sign talking about the blood of patriots and, and tyrants. But at the end of the day, you guys are a peaceful organization, right? Nobody should be worried about a gun-toting guy with a, a sign out of well, under Arizona law, our state constitution says we all have the right to carry and uh, openly carry a gun no matter where we're at, except if, you know, if you go into a business, the business says you're not allowed to, then, then they have the right because that is a private uh, place. If you're out in public, you have every right in the world to walk around with a gun. So people shouldn't be worried? Or... I think they should be encouraged. People, you think people should be encouraged to carry their guns? Yeah, encouraged to carry their guns and know that there is a crime being, uh, being committed that the people who have those guns will be able to do something about that crime. When seconds count, cops are minutes away. And have you met him at all? You've read his stuff on MySpace and things? Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I've so read yeah, What do you think of the guy? I think he's got a, a major uh, dose of guts. I think he has a major dose of guts. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't actually met him personally, but... I believe he's in, New, he's in uh, New Hampshire. Yeah. And I believe he has a major dose of guts. So you think it's a good idea, bringing the gun? Was, uh, was any harm caused? Well, can you understand why, why people would have been worried, though, when they see a gun? People yelling at these, I mean, you've seen these protests, they can get pretty heated. You see some of these town hall meetings where people get uh, yelling and shouting and stuff. Do you think people should have been worried at all? Do you, or do you understand maybe where there could have been some concern from people? I'm more concerned about people people wearing costumes that are carrying guns than, than regular systems, uh, the regular citizens carrying guns. Right. When I say the, the people with uh, the wearing the blue uniforms are the ones I, I'm more concerned with. So you're more worried about police officers carrying guns than this guy? Oh, by far. Explain why. Why do you why do you think that? I, I, I have I've yet to be as aided by a police officer in my life. All right, that's good. All right. You're a member of the We the People organization foundation, and then also the uh, Freedoms Phoenix. Yes. What is Freedoms Phoenix? Though? Just kind of another. Freedoms Phoenix version. is a place where individuals can <coughs> report the news. Okay. And what do you guys do? Like, what's your programs? Have you been doing any TV programs at all? We're working on them. Okay. Yeah, we're working on it. We're, we're working on making that happen. Are We've done ready? some interviews, you know, some various interviews. Pastor Anderson, I don't know if you're familiar with him. He was the gentleman that was tased out. Yeah, in, yeah, uh, uh, the border. Yeah, well, it wasn't border, 50 miles away from the border. Okay, but with Border Patrol. Right, yeah. well, the Border Patrol should be on the border. Yeah, so, um, and, and what do you guys, where do you guys hear those? Public access or? Uh, on the internet. On the internet. Yeah, internet. So.